Hey, I'm Chef Aaron Fish, and this is Fish Food, where we make approachable, tasty snacks. And today, we're making ahi ceviche with purple potatoes. What is ceviche? Well, ceviche is a Latin American seafood dish, typically made with raw seafood, citrus, and chopped vegetables. First, we're gonna make the brine. Brine consists of citrus, sugar, salt, some soy sauce, some sesame oil, and togarashi. Now, we put citrus in that because that's gonna help cure the fish and make it edible when it's raw. First, we're gonna juice some limes. Hands hurt, get one of these bad boys. Now, they make them in all kinds of different sizes and shapes. I highly recommend getting one about this size that handles lemons and limes, because they make this tiny lime one and it's no good. Pop it in there, squeeze it, look at all that juice. Now that we got our citrus in the bowl, we're gonna add some salt. We're gonna add some sugar. This is gonna help balance the brine. After the salt and sugar, we're gonna add some soy sauce. We're gonna add some sesame oil. And now we're gonna add some togarashi. Togarashi is a Japanese spice blend, typically containing seven different spices. It's made with chilies, orange peels, sesame seeds, and personally, I like to put it on eggs, potatoes, and even avocado toast. All right, once you're done whisking, we're gonna throw together the rest of our ceviche. Now, I've got red onions, I've got carrots, I've got celery, I've got green onions, I've got cilantro, fresh from my own garden. And I've got a little chili mixture with some serranos and some habanero. So you don't have to use the same vegetable as I did, but you don't typically wanna shy away from that cilantro and those chilies. All right, next up, I'm gonna add my brine to my vegetables. I'm just gonna give it a quick little stir. We're just gonna combine it. And now it's time for the tuna. All right, so you don't have to use tuna. You can use something like rockfish or shrimp. You can mix it up. Just stick with something that's comfortable for you. So when I take my tuna, I like to cut it in half because we're gonna chunk this up. So you wanna use a sharp knife and you wanna get through there and dice it up. Make it really easy, it's just simple. We don't wanna murder it. We just want to give it a nice little chop. All right, now we're just going to give it a quick little stir and let it marinate. Make sure you keep that fish submerged as much as possible so the brine can do its work. Now you want to let that marinate five to 10 minutes before you eat it. And you can eat it just as is, some chips, maybe on a tostada, but today we're going to take it up a level with some purple potatoes and some corn nuts. Now I've already cooked these in some boiling salted water until they were fully cooked through and cooled down. I'm gonna take them, we're gonna slice them into some slices. And we're gonna pan fry them. All right, I got my pan going, medium high heat, two to three minutes, let's get it hot. Put a little bit of uh, canola or vegetable oil in there, maybe a little bit more than a little. And what we're looking to do is we want these to get nice and crispy. Now, the reason that we are frying these is because we're looking to add some texture, some heat, um, some crispiness to the ceviche so that it has kind of a rounded profile. A little salt. All right, so this is what you're looking for. You want to get it nice and crispy, a little bit of brown. Not black, not burnt, not undercooked. All right, so you don't have to use purple potatoes. You can use red potatoes, Yukon potatoes. Really what you're looking for is something crunchy, creamy, and salty. So we're gonna put these potatoes on the plate. Don't worry about perfect placement. We're just gonna make it look good, okay? Give this another quick little stir. Just make sure everything's saucy, okay? Put a little scoop right on top. Maybe a little bit more, because why not? All right, we're gonna throw a little bit of avocado on there. Let's try to get it all on the plate. Yeah. 
Oh baby. I'm gonna put a little bit of corn nuts on there. And just some more fresh cilantro. And we are good to go. I threw another little dusting of togarashi on there. Why? Well, obviously because it's delicious. So, let's get into this and let's try it out here. And a little bit of the potato, a little bit of ceviche, make sure we get a corn nut in there. Mm. Okay. This is everything that you need in a dish. You've got your hot, your cold, your crispy, your sweet, your savory, your acidic, your spicy. And that's how you make delicious fish food.